Here he is, Lord Admiral, our yearling thoroughbred with his owner, Cincy Cutter. He has passed the braking process with flying colors and we are moving on to the galloping stage. This will take about a month, three or four weeks of slow gallops, building up some uh, cardiovascular endurance and getting some of the initial bone building done. But then we will move into a serious bone building program that takes 17 weeks. And this prepares the skeletal frame for the rigors of race conditioning. What you're seeing here is Lord Admiral's first day on the racetrack for a gallop. And notice how good he is and calm and collected while the other horse is scared and tentative. And Lord Admiral just steps up and leads him onto the track like he's an old professional. Lord Admiral's doing a bit of jogging to warm up, and I want you to take a look at how much time this horse spends in the air during his stride. He just seems to float, and in fact, he is floating. He is airborne, and I'll show you just how that works in a slow motion video. This gait is a trot in which the diagonal limbs work together. The right front and the left hind move together, the left front and the right hind move together. You can see that pretty clearly in this video. But there is a point in the mid-stride in which all four feet are off the ground. Now remember this is his first day on the track and he's kind of playing around a little bit and goofing off and now watch him look at mom over here since he's taken his picture. He's got to see what she's up to. And here's the second lap on the 5 8 mile track here and he's settled down very nicely and you're going to see in just a second a beautiful lead change. Boom, there. And I'll show you that in slow motion. We're going to count the beats of the left front foot hitting the ground. And when we get to the lead change, you'll see all of a sudden that left foot hesitates and comes down late. Here we go. One, two, three, four. And that foot should have been on the ground right here, but it's a little bit late. That left front foot will hover in the air for a moment, and you'll see him switch over so he's favoring more the left side, leading with the left side instead of the right. Some racehorses have a tough time learning this skill. You can see that Lord Admiral is just a natural at it. You don't have to ask him, he just does it. It's very important coming into the turns that you get onto that left lead so you can lean into the turn and then coming out of the turn into the stretch to change back to the right lead, it gives those muscles kind of a break, as if you were switching hands when carrying a piece of luggage. So right from the start, Lord Admiral has been a terrific yeah. student. He's very easy to work with, and I feel a big responsibility with this horse because of that, to be as careful as possible, bring him along safely, don't get him hurt, and see if we can get his greatest potential from it.